Hello and welcome to this episode of Traverse City Guide. Today we're visiting the Northwest Michigan Fair. We're going to show you everything you can experience when you visit, including the rides, the food, to even the animals. So we're going to give you a full tour and show you everything you can experience. So let's head in. Let's experience the Northwest Michigan Fair. <music> this a proper fair video without showing you the original commercial and theme song. I mean, the vibe of this music just isn't right. Let's roll that clip and get it back on track. Going to the fair, going to the fair, going to the Northwest Michigan Fair, going to the fair, going to the fair, going to the Northwest Michigan Fair, coming from the south, coming from the north, August 29th, September the 4th, coming from the west, coming from the east, lots of corn and lots of beef, carnival rides and hundreds of events, kids and babes and ladies and gents, you can walk or drive or fly through the air, just head out to one heck of a fair. Come to the fair, come to the fair, come to the Northwest Michigan Fair, come to the fair, come to the fair, come to the Northwest Michigan Welcome back to the Northwestern Michigan Fair. It's been two years since we visited and we couldn't be more excited to be here again. This year's fair took place on Sunday, August 4th through Saturday, August 10th. Here is a quick look at their website showing all of the events that happened this year. So they have everything from a draft horse show to horse pulls, tough trucks on Tuesdays. Also, they have a TNT bump and run demolition derby. And then also inside their pamphlet they were passing out, you can see on the left, they have the wristbands for the Arnold Amusements. On Wednesday's Kids Day, so all day rides, it's $30. And again, that's for adults and children. Here's a quick look at the admission too. Adults 13 or older are $5 for a day and children 12 or under are three. Now let's talk about food. The food stalls at the Northwestern Michigan Fair are conveniently located and arranged in two easy to navigate rows. As you walk through, you'll find a variety of food options that cater to all tastes. Sausages, elephant ears, and cotton candy over there. Lemonade, pizza by the slice, a little bit of everything. This year I noticed they had a home brew soda pop stand and you can enjoy a selection of 10 different flavors of homemade pop. All served from wooden barrels. If you're finding this guide helpful or entertaining, consider subscribing. We have over 100 videos including restaurant reviews, local guides and activities in and around Traverse City. Subscribing keeps you in the loop and supports our channel. The signature fair smell is definitely in the air. You could smell a lot of the burgers being cooked, the french fries, the bratwurst. Everything was being cooked fresh. We decided to go to Steve's Smoke and Barbecue. They had jumbo smoked turkey legs that looked very tender. Also, their pulled pork also was screaming our name. So we decided to get a pulled pork sandwich and a pulled pork bowl, which had beans, coleslaw, and a bunch of pulled pork on top. Both were really, really well done, and it was perfect for us to eat. Also this year, they have the traditional carnival games, but we don't really participate because they're really hard to win. And Now let's move on to the rides. Arnold Amusements does a great job offering a wide variety of rides and entertainment. The Magic Maze is also a popular choice for kids. It is relatively small, but it is again a fun one. The Zero Gravity is a roundup which actually uses centrifugal force, 
pushes you up against the wall and then rotates you at a 45 degree angle. It's very intense. Next, we have the shock drop, which is about 50 feet tall. This drop tower hoists 12 people straight up in the air, and before you know it, it comes plummeting straight down to the ground. This is another fun one, but it's definitely not for the faint of heart. We're making our way over to the Matterhorn. That's also a crowd favorite. And then right next door is the Zipper. The Zipper is a relatively intense ride that isn't for everybody. We waited in line for just a few minutes and then we were quickly loaded into our carriage and then we were tossing and tumbling and moving all around. It was about a five minute experience and although it was shorter, the zipper is very intense. Next we have the Mystery Mansion which is essentially a dark ride on a tractor trailer. This little guy was playing the piano up front which is pretty cool. Here I am contemplating my decision on going on this. Inside you have some black light art and you essentially go around in a circle three times. It was okay, it wasn't something I was expecting to be good, but it was fun to film and show you a little bit of the inside. It's always cool to see how they use different lighting effects and different props to pop up, buzzers and different sounds. As you round the corner into the daylight, you're left contemplating what you just witnessed and if it was even worth your time. Next we have the Pharaoh's Fury, which is a large swinging ship. This shot was actually taken from the top of the mirror maze. You can see a few of the rides in the background. Next we have the Ring of Fire, which is a Larson Looper. It is a very smooth experience. This was probably the smoothest ride at the fair and it was a lot of fun. We rode this a few times and it was just a cool experience. Next up we have the OMG 360 which is spinning in the background. We didn't end up riding this because it was a little intense for my taste. Also we have a traditional ferris wheel which looked like a lot of fun. There was also spinning strawberries which looked great and then followed by a traditional carousel which again was a kid favorite for sure. In the kids area they had a bouncing area, they had a little fun house, they also had a dragon coaster which is also a flagship. Here's another shot of the OMG and you can see it spinning. Also, we're going to head over to the horse barn right now. This was actually a great place. It's so cool to see all the horses up close. You can actually pet them if the owner lets you. And it was really neat to see all the prizes that they've won. It really is a cool experience and a great family activity. Let's see if we can find some horses. Well, hello there. You are beautiful. This is Lucy. Awesome. So, yeah, I like it so much. Cool. We absolutely love visiting the fair. It is a great time for the entire family. We're just wrapping up here at the Northwest Michigan Fair. We had a great time. It was so cool to spend time with family, head out, enjoy the rides, enjoy the weather, and enjoy the food. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Traverse City Guide, and until next time, I'm Justin.